You're watching the Axe NIBC series on ESPN. Kicking off the Laporte Invitational with our first of 11 games over the next three days. And we've got the host, La Lemaire, taking on 20th ranked Wasatch Academy out of Utah. It's going to have to have a big game for the Lakers today. And now off we go from the Laporte Invitational, our first of 11 games over the next three days. And it's 20th ranked Wasatch Academy in the black uniforms with the basketball. Here is Jones off the screen. The Kansas State commit pulls up from mid-range and buries it. My axe smell irresistible all day. And for La Lemire, coach, they have a couple injuries. And because of that, they're down to only about five or six guys who play a lot. And they're going to be facing Osiris Grady, the four-star senior. They don't have the star power. They don't have the scoring punch without Bailey as much. RJ Jones missed the fadeaway jumper. Yeah, coach. Pat Holmes was telling us yesterday, everybody that's in the regular rotation plays about 19 minutes a game at a minimum on his three. Good take to the basket, a bit of contact for Johnson as he finishes through. You can count on him to take good looks. And now a takeaway, RJ Jones flying through two guys and he got fouled going to the basket. First turnover of the day for Wasatch Academy on that play right there. And Lala Mir, who's down five early, gets an open look from Zade Lowry, and he is all net on the three. Zade Lowry's going to head to Marquette, play for Shaka Smart, four star recruit. And he brings offense to Lala Mir. And they need his offense. His game right now is driving and defending. But that jump shot can really help the Lakers. Colin Murray boils left wide open on the three, and he has the immediate response. If it's in his space and it touches his hands, there's a good chance he's going to get it. Well, another turnover, the fifth of the early going for La Lemire, leads to an open look from the corner and a two for two start from three for Wasatch. Walters, his second steal of the first quarter. Transition three, got it. What's up, how you guys doing? It's great to be back here in LaPorte, Indiana, watching my old school play. Actually, when I played with Lalamere, I played no defense at all. All I wanted to do was shoot the basketball. <laughs> Matt Payne fixed still, that real quick. And I still ranked you in the top 100. Murray to inbound. And Yalden couldn't get a shot off before it's the end of the first quarter here in LaPorte in foul trouble. Well, Gus doesn't mind physicality. He played hockey, ice hockey, right before he played basketball. So he's used to getting hit. How would you like 6-8 checking you into the boards, coach? It's a strong take from Sebo Newton to lay it off the wet glass. Put the ball on the side, then you're limited to what you can do offensively. You've got to get ball reversals through the middle. Kick it out, open three, and it's on that. Zane Lowry knocks down another one. Any defense, doesn't matter what the scheme or the style. Once you break it down and touch the paint, good things happen. Newton with back-to-back -back buckets. Glenn driving, knocked away, and a turnover. Two on one for Wasatch. Miss layup, cleanup won't go either for R.J. Jones. Wow. A big miss for Wasatch. It was an easy opportunity to get two points. Caleb Glenn, last possession. A simple reversal would have been the right read. Walters off the screen, and Lalamere's got its first lead of the day after being down eight in the first quarter. They're doing a great job now finding the open man. That time, Trenton Waters says, I am the open man. Coming off the ball screen, quick into the jump shot. How about the rotation and the spin on his shot? He has a high release point and great rotation. Three made threes for him, and now a shot clock violation. And the turnover gives it right back to Lalamere. Size doesn't matter, but ability does. And he is very talented. And now he's got a pretty look on the inside. And Hampton Duparis with the lay-in. It's a fantastic rebound at 6-7. Gets it on both ends of the floor. And he goes coast to coast here, but can't put it in through a couple defenders. Harwell with the drop off, and Colin Murray Boyles puts Wasatch back on top. Looking for black shirts to put their body on them. So important. And now that full court pressure causes a turnover. 
And Jeremiah Johnson with the finger roll and a quick 6-0 spurt for Wasatch. Final five seconds of the quarter. R.J. Jones, deep three, in and out, offensive rebound, and a stick back goes for Murray Boyles at the horn. And Wasatch ends the first half on an 8-0 run, Coach, and they weathered that three-point storm of LaLamere. A little bit more to try to get a better shot than he had. Well, this full court pressure for Wasatch was a big part of that 8-0 run to end the first half. But an eighth made three of the game. This one coming from Danny Murray. And he's what Pat Holmes called a sniper from outside. And that's what Rafel was talking about earlier, getting the ball to the middle of the floor and then swinging it opposite against pressure. Great job by the Lakers. Okay. Walters, kick out, Yalden, he can hit this, and he does. He's one of the few bigs in the high school game that can score both inside and out. And a quick response on the other end with Diallo, the four-star junior put for the Badgers. And Wasatch forces the turnover here. Johnson leaning in. Offensive rebound, Harwell the put back, and that's his first points of the game. A one and done trip. Harwell spots up in the corner, and he sticks the three. The help on the baseline. Now he's got the help on the pick and roll. Diallo goes over the top of Yalden to go off the window. Johnson hops into the lane, finger rolls off the glass. Fouls doesn't want to pick up a third, still with three minutes to go in the third quarter. Yalden with the three, though. That's his third three of the game. Final 40 seconds here of the third quarter. Lowry with a take to the basket. Diallo swats it away. Advantage. Two block shots for Diallo today. He's got offers from BYU, Utah State, and Lowry with the leaner inside to pull this down to a one-point game. See, that time Lowry brought it right into the paint, up strong, didn't look for a foul, much more aggressive. Now Glenn with the defense, the takeaway, can't lay it in, but he's got free throws coming up and a chance for La Lemire to pull even closer. Ten seconds of the third quarter. 7-0 run for La Lu. Johnson blocked away by Lowry. What a finish to the third quarter for La Lu. Seven unanswered for the Lakers, turning some defense into offense. Defense, you don't play hard. He made that known. You will not play at Purdue. It doesn't matter if you score 2,000 points in high school. There's your team in scoring. When you're at Purdue, you got to play the right way, play Purdue-style basketball, and give yourself up for the team. Oh, Gus Yalden on the inside playing Wisconsin-style basketball. The four-star center heading there next year. He's knocked down three threes, but showing the inside presence too, Coach. Yeah, he showed mobility on the hook shot. It was beautiful. And now Diallo with a quick answer on the two-handed stuff. Diallo does a great job of staying right near the rim in the dunker spot on the offensive end defensively. Same thing, close to the basket, challenging shots, trying to alter shots and block the ones he can. What's the best part of his game? The ability to finish and protect the rim. Barwell all the way to the basket, took a little bit of contact and he gives Wasatch the lead. Barwell leaning inside, couldn't get to Diallo, another turnover. We talk so much about the players and the teams. Let's not forget the coaches. These guys know how to make adjustments, get their team ready. That guy knows how to make threes. Now the game has slowed down. Execution so important right now against the set defense. Yalden keeps his tiptoes in and keeps it from being a backcourt violation. And those are some big toes. <laughs> the six foot eight Gus Yalden. Walters weaving through. Good look underneath to Yalden who banks it in. This is Harwell, one of the best sophomores in the country. Given off to R.J. Jones, the floater is true. But when it comes to shooting and scoring and facilitating, R.J. Jones will contribute to Kansas State. There'll be some nights he'll influence and even impact. 
the three, gets the bounce from Lowry, and he's got five made threes. To They've left some out there. Walters got the defender to fly by. Murray on the baseline. And Danny Murray, the sophomore who was thrusted into the starting lineup today because of the Tybo Bailey injury, has a chance to give La Lemire the lead. And we'll see what Wasatch does here. The final 45 seconds, tie game. Murray Boyles, short, rebounded Lowry. Not a bad look. Maybe a shot fake and back your way in. I'd like to see Murray Boyles get closer to the basket unless it's clean from the outside, and that was semi-contested. Got a 10-second difference between game clock and shot clock here in the fourth quarter. Glenn straight away. Got it! One for 12 from the field before that, but in the closing moments, Caleb Glenn with a massive three to put Lalu up. It's got to be a quick two for Wasatch. The drive, the kick, open look for Johnson, blocked by Lowry. And with two seconds to go, Yalden going to the free throw line, a chance to ice this one away. Yeah, they ran a hammer play, they call it. They tried to screen the backside. They ran a shooter to the corner. Great cons. He missed it. And Johnson, the rebound, a quick timeout. Two seconds left. It's eight. Gus Yalden defending it here. That's the right idea, in my opinion. They get it in. And Harwell doesn't get it off in time, and La Lu with a top 20 win coming from behind to pull it off in the end. Hit a three with about 15 seconds to go to win it. Wasatch went scoreless, the final 253, and La Lu closed the game on a 6 0 run, knocking down 13 threes tonight in the win over Wasatch. What a start to the Port Invitational, Coach.